Hey guys, we're going to take a look at replacing the old camera on my 2014 Model S with the newer and higher definition version. To start things off, we have to disassemble the hatch trim. I started with removing the handles on the hatch, which just pull out. Using your fingers or a pry tool, just wedge it in between the hatch and the handle and it should pop out easily. On the hatch button, the connector just presses in and does not seem to have a retaining clip. Starting at the back of the hatch, we need to pull off the center piece, which should come off rather easily. Just pull straight back and detach the four clips along the panel. This is probably the easiest of the panels to remove. After that, we need to move to these two side panels, which are three clips each, and we can pull straight back. You are likely going to be breaking some retaining clips when you do this, so buy some in advance either from eBay or your local service center. After both side panels, we'll need to use a T25, I believe it was, Torx bit to remove the two screws for the back piece. Once both screws are out, we can work to remove the largest piece. You don't technically have to remove the speaker grill, but I chose to do so to have a little bit easier access to the two push pins that are directly behind it. It's just held on with six push pins and some double sided tape on the very front edge. Once you pull down most of the way, unhook the four connectors and take it out of the car. Let's take a moment and talk about difficulty while this is going. This isn't inherently hard to do, but it did take me about two hours in total. I broke four retaining clips, and having to use new double-sided tape is always a pain. It feels like you're going to break every piece as you're removing it, and really isn't for the faint of heart. I will say though, the improvement in quality is pretty stunning. We now have access to the camera, which we can unplug and get ready for removal. But first, the Tesla applique. This thing is a pain. It's held on the edges by double-sided tape for some odd reason, and a few clips going across it. Using a heat gun and a pry bar, or some fishing line in a gentle sawing motion, slowly get through the double-sided tape on both sides. You'll want to be very careful using just gentle pressure with your pry bar, so that way you don't overbend it, and make sure not to overheat the, the tape either. Once you're done, you can slowly begin using a pry bar to unhook all of the clips by just applying pressure and maybe twisting the pry bar a little bit. It will definitely feel like you're going to break it, but you shouldn't. Just don't pull from the edges. Be patient and work your way down the bar.
After the applique is removed, we can remove the black retaining bar and the camera. Now a small note, you don't have to remove the camera yet like I did. I wasn't aware, but the camera is only attached to this bar and not actually to the car itself. Remove the three screws on the black bar and use your heat gun to loosen even more double-sided tape and pry it off. You'll then have easy access to the screws for the camera and can easily remove it instead of fighting with it like I did. The only thing left holding the camera to the body of the trunk is a rubber grommet that seats it. The easiest way to remove it is by reaching inside of the trunk and pushing it through to the outside while pulling on it from the outside. Once you have it out, you're ready to put in the new camera. As you can see, you can just attach the camera directly to the bar, which is much easier than replacing it on the car like I was trying to do. Go ahead and route your cable into the groove on this piece and run it along the edge of the bar so it doesn't get in the way of the light, which you're going to see happen to me in just a moment. Then go ahead, apply some new double sided tape to the three arrow marks as indicated on the piece, and you're ready to reinstall. Route the cable through into the hatch and push the rubber grommet in. Once again, reach inside of the car and pull the grommet up and through as it will be much easier than trying to only push it from the outside. Once it's fully seated, remove the backing from your double sided tape and reinstall the screws. Pretty much from here on out, it's just a matter of reinstalling all of the other trim, the applique, and making sure everything works. If you guys have any questions, make sure to post them down in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer any questions that I can. If you guys enjoy what I'm putting out, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with new content as it comes out. If you're reinstalling the original applique and not upgrading to the lighted version, of which now would be a wonderful time to do so, it's time to add new double-sided tape. 
get some good quality scissors and a brand new razor blade or exacto knife to be able to cut it evenly. Once you've gotten your new double-sided tape applied, go through the annoying hassle of peeling the backing from the tape, being careful not to touch it as the oils in your hand will interfere with the tape's stickiness, and begin applying the applique to the car. I tried to start in the middle and work my way out to the edges, making sure to press down nice and firmly on the edges. After this, you just plug in your new camera, reinstall your panels, and you're good to go. And we're all done. Ignore the flickering, it's just the frame rate of the GoPro. The image is crystal clear and a massive improvement. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and let me know if you have any questions. Take care.